I am a tortoise. A crocheted tortoise. Look, I got it done. I had to dig for like five minutes at least in my daughter's room for uh, before I could find it. It was lost amongst the toys already. Sort of smushed and <sighs> they asked for the crafts and then don't necessarily cherish them the way they should be. But he's a very cute tortoise. He needs his own show. Anyway, it is Tuesday and I'm working on this recording in hopefully plenty of time to uh, get it up while it's still Tuesday. I think technically it was actually Wednesday when last week's went up. Um, could probably just by a few minutes, if that. I'll double check that. Feel free to hold me to it. Um, let's see. So, I've actually had a pretty productive week. I um, got to work on my craft room. Well, I did some other rooms first. Got those out of the way. <clears throat> wow, time for a drink. I got some other rooms out of the way, some closets and whatnot, and it did inspire me to get working on the craft room. Um, let's see, do I have a before shot? The horror. Okay, so I took that video a couple of days ago, and um, I had already moved some stuff out of the room, so it wasn't actually nearly as bad as it really um, was. It wasn't a true before shot. Um, but um, did manage to go through some of it. I'm not done with the room by any means. Um, but I did manage to go through some of it and unloaded a lot of my craft stash and other unused items that, you know, to uh, some books over to the library and some scrapbooking and other crafty stuff over to some of the teachers <clears throat> at um, my kids' school. So, you know, if I'm not using it, somebody should, and it'll save me space. The problem is that I have all these bins of stuff. At some point, I started to organize it into different, um, you know, just like this cross this stuff goes in one bin and this yarn goes in another bin. Um, and I just, the problem is, is that, you know, we're in an apartment um, and we don't have tons of storage space. Our closets are pretty good, but we don't have like lots of shelves or, so it's pretty much bin on top of bin on top of bin. and. I need to get that closet completely cleared out before I can like stow it all. But then it's not going to be easy to get to, and it's pretty much an ongoing rant with me. Anyway, I did that. Um, so you know that cat sweater <laughs> that I was working on, the cat heads, cat, 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 cat. Um, yeah. Do you want to see what it looks like now? It got frogged. Julie, um, I love Julie because I'll be maybe considering ripping something out and giving up on something. And um, eh, if left alone, I probably would eventually have given up and gotten the courage to rip it out. But uh, Julie's great because I could just say, mm, I'm kind of thinking I don't want to finish this. And then she's like, do it. <laughs> rip it out. And I do, and it's great, and I'm happy. Um, so today after school, I grabbed the kids, and we ran to um, the local yarn store, and I grabbed some other yarn to make a sweater for the same purpose, but in a different gauge, and, you know, it'll be a different pattern. I haven't picked one yet. I might just make it up, but um, it's going to be what I was originally planning for when I bought the other yarn, which was a baby blue, and you really can't see the color. Baby blue! and chocolate brown. I think it's lovely together. I think it's going to be mostly baby blue. Well, it is because I bought more of the baby blue. And then, you know, some edging. and Maybe I'll throw some Fair Isle in. That was the thing I was thinking about. The fact that it would be have been an easier sweater project if I had done a solid sweater with a little bit of Fair Isle. It wouldn't have been so tedious. 
and disheartening. So, I've got that. Oh, hold on, phone. The remote control is in my hands. Anyone see Dr. Horrible yet? That's my latest obsession. Um, there's a Halloween party I want to go to um, this month, obviously, at Halloween. And uh, I would really like to get together a Dr. Horrible costume. Not that my hair really looks like Dr. Horrible and not that I'm male and nerdy. Well, okay, I'm nerdy. But, you know, I don't necessarily look like the typical male nerd. <clears throat> anyway, I would love to get a Dr. Horrible costume together, but I just don't feel like I have the time. I'm sure I'm not going to be able to find the right lab coat. Um, and I know that I could sew one, but I just don't feel like I have the time or the inclination or really the money to spend on materials. Oh, I think my child is slightly awake. Let's see. Mostly quiet. So, maybe next year, but I'm hoping to see some Dr. Horribles, you know, floating around this Halloween. That'd be awesome. Um, I think that's really all I got. Oh, and this new yarn is Ultra Alpaca again. Just not, not the fine, but the regular worsted. Meh. The status is not quo. <laughs> oh, Dr. Horrible, he's awesome. Anyway, um, thanks for checking in. Really wish I had more to show you. <laughs> the place is, uh, yeah. <laughs> no tour for you yet. I'll check you later.